Hello, in this video we are going to see the simulation of the Keynesian multiplier. In previous videos we saw that there are two ways that we can deduce this. One is mathematically, actually three ways, uh, intuitively, formally with mathematics, or if we define aggregate expenditure with this uh, consumption function then in equilibrium aggregate expenditure is equal to income which is this point here aggregate expenditure this red line equal to income this green line then out of this expression if we isolate first C0 and then we isolate here y then out of this equilibrium we can infer that y is uh, 1 divided by 1 minus c which is this so we have two ways of getting the same result so here we have the same and in equilibrium aggregate expenditure is equal to income and out of this expression we can isolate y I'm saying exactly the same as before so what we want to see here is how this works for different values of C0 and C for initial injection and marginal propensity to consume ok so we are going to see the picture here and we are going to start here with an initial injection of one dollar which is this initial consumption then this uh, one dollar comes to the pocket of this green guy so we represent it here this is the income of one dollar then this green guy consumes only 0 0.8 which is this 0 0.8 and then this 0 0.8 come to this guy which is this and this guy uh, only consumes a 0 0.64 which is this and so on so what we get is that in equilibrium which is this point aggregate expenditure is equal to income but here we can see that this one dollar is the initial consumption and this four dollars one two three four is the induced consumption induced by this initial consumption so we have one plus four is five so this five aggregate expenditure in equilibrium is equal to this five which is income now if we change values then we can we are going to see how this intercept and the slope change so if we take for example uh, something like uh, 0 0.5 roughly then 0 0.5 do you remember that in this case we have uh, when when uh, the mar marginal propensity to consume is uh, 0 0.5 then the then the multiplier is 2 which is intuitive so here we see that uh, C is a little bit more than half so the multiplier is a little bit more than 2 so we have this initial injection and then we duplicate multiply by 2 the initial injection if it is a little more let's say that's 0 0.8 we saw that for 0 0.8 the multiplier wa was 5 here is a little bit more so the multiplier is a little bit more so the multiplier is nearly 6 which is this nearly 6 this nearly 6 now is if C is less than 0 0.5 
then the multiplier will be less than 2 so here we can see for example that with a very small uh, this value which is much less than 0 0.5 we see that uh, the multiplier is much less than 2 so in this case if we increase uh, the initial uh, expenditure f uh, for example I instead of uh, in the initial injection of money instead of um, initial consumption let's say that there is a government expenditure so we increase government expenditure and then the GDP will grow of course but as you can see here only 17 percent is is the increasing is the induced consumption so it doesn't matter how much the government go on increasing government expenditure what we're going to have is just a little bit of increasing because this um, multiplier is very low so we so we can see how the intercept and the slope changes when we change this value okay that's it so see you in the next video thanks for watching